Agenda 21. Agenda 21. It's all together. Uh, our fears of Monsanto, they're part of Agenda 21. Population reduction, it's all in there. And right. um, they're going to feed us. Codex Alimentaria says they're going to feed us non-nutritional food. It's going to be part of something that they're going to produce food that has no nutrition. Well, that's what we're seeing. When, when we looked at the chart there that was showing the non-GMO corn versus the GMO corn, uh, it was astronomical, the differences in what the nutrients and energy and all the stuff that was in the food. What they've done is they've, it's just like when they extract the fiber from, you know, in the, uh, from our foods and they inject it with all kinds of sugars and glucose, fructose, you know, corn sugar and shit like that. They take away the, the nu nutrition that our body needs to sustain itself. Our organs need to fucking be able to be healthy and, and grow, grow and, and develop produce children and fucking, you know. Have families and and uh, just enjoy life. If this is what their plan is to to take all these nutrients out, I mean, then Monsanto is obviously the perfect uh, tool for them to use to carry out that. That's. <laughs> I I really guys like I said, there's not much that gets well, me down. Just more but evidence this is, um, to the proof. It's, so let's can you talk about can you talk about particularly what that lady said and and. Uh, well, she said that uh, the the UN, which governs over the World Health Organization and the Food and uh, Agricultural and agri Organization, yeah, agri FAO, FAO the right. Food Agricultural, those two are designed basically, and they have their Codex Alimentarius, which is the food uh, sustainable plan for the world, which basically says uh, nutrients are bad. Nutrients are toxins. Nutrients are toxins, and they're they're going to eliminate them through their food. Uh, the she said thing. 3 billion people will die, uh, 1 billion just from regular starvation, and 2 billion from preventable diseases, which yeah. will be given to them from lack of nutrition. Exactly. We're going to be eating empty food, right? That's We're just going to kill half the planet easily just by the meat. It's, it's empty or lack food that's going to taste really good because that's how they fool us. They know this, right? They know how to create sure. the, the sweetness and the... They know how to create bacon-flavored condoms. Exactly. Yeah, bacon so flavored condoms. They can create bacon flavored food too, right? Yeah. I mean, what's the difference, right? They do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. bacon flavored chips, bacon flavored. Well, dish, they've created a ice ice nation of fat people. There's bacon and ice cream um, the other day, man. Oh, I, I watching like the on. one of the soccer games in the MLS there, and I don't know if it was w which city it was in the states, but um, Kansas City perhaps. It was Montreal. Yeah, it was Kansas City. And yeah. you just see, like, the camera pans in the audience, there's a lot of fat people up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the hell, you know? And then the commercials come on, and there's fat people in the commercial. And, uh, you know, they're pushing this lifestyle where, you know, it's okay to be in terrible health. Um, it's the norm, you know? And enjoy your life and eat your fucking Crap cheese and noodles yeah, or whatever. And die. Or yeah. and die when you're in your 50s and uh, don't have children because, well, you're not going to be able to pretty soon because... Uh, you eat too much food that ruins your body. <laughs> I know. It's you know? so dark. It's so dark because they, 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 they revel in it. They look at people and they call them the bottom feeders. So the basically then... Of the world. The, the, we're just nothing. We're just licking their boots. That's who we are. We're the shit of the world. Yeah. The but we're not. We allowed it. The the one thing I mean that is the easiest thing to say is that the elites only eat the organic shit. That's all they'll touch. They won't touch any of the food that their corporations make, right? And there's a fucking good reason for that because they know it's goddamn poison, right? They know what it is. They're purposely trying to eliminate us through this process of poisoning our foods, taking all our nutrients away, fucking poisoning us with the television, right, which is a mind conditioning uh, fucking rape, right, that they carry out every oh day, man. and assault on you people. Know, little <laughs> mind rape. That's good it comes to a point, like, families rape. should all <coughs> be putting, like, an apple tree and a pear tree in their yard. Half the families should break. You know, they should have... Well, they should have the time and the wherewithal and the money to be able to fucking do that. Be you able don't need a lot of time to um, freaking have a tree grow, right? Mm -hmm. You know? You need time to have a tree grow. Yes, it takes a lot of time, but it doesn't take so much work no. uh, to grow the thing. But no, you, you got to tend it. Right. you got to put in time. But 
the, yeah, well, that's, that's what they're trying, trying to do. You can't go out there and dig it faster. No, no, water it faster. If you, grow faster. If you go no, to... to kill you, it's worth it to no, send no, 10 yeah, minutes yeah. out on your If you tree, go no. to no, the yes, local absolutely. nursery, right, but in the summertime, or if you go to Canadian Tire, you go to, like, Walmart, you buy seeds, right? You're buying GMO seeds, right? Well, we have to know. You have to. Right, there right. are so places to buy organic seeds. You have to sure. buy the organic seeds, which costs obviously probably cost more. But you know, maybe if people awaken, they'll cost less because they'll be more produced and it'll be a huge market for it. All of a sudden, people waking up and say, "Hey, fuck this! We're growing our own food. We're not going to eat this shit that uh, you know might taste great, but fuck, it's totally less filling, right? <laughs> you know, like no, you're not getting any fucking thing from it. You're, you, if anything, you're getting the poisons, the chemicals, the things that cause the diabetes, the fucking autism, all the shit that's happening, right? Like all these, the, these, uh, these diseases that are just fucking exploding throughout the world because we're all eating this food, and it's like they're they're, they're instigating the slow kill. And you can see it. I mean, the average person, man, if you are like, if you're like 50 or 60 or 70 pounds overweight, man, you're not going to live that long. You're just not going to live that long, you know? And yeah, there's not too many of them in the old age home, right? They're all little birds running around in the old age home. Right? Exactly. And keep, keep, keep. Yeah. They're but not, um, we've got a, we've got a society that's programmed to shut down when conspiracy theories arise. We got Like a, Rockefeller. Yeah. No, we're designed to shut down even if you talk about health and nutrition. People are designed to shut down to talk. They're, they're conditioned to have their ego and their pride triumph over the reality of you're poisoning yourself by drinking Coca-Cola. It's true. They've hit us at the lowest common denominator. The they, they is good for you. And Boston pizza. And they sell vanity. And and they sell do stupidity. this and do this. And the fat stupidity. For, for me, one of the, the most telltale <laughs> things from being a kid right up to today is when you go into a convenience store, a corner store. The, the local store. fucking... Yeah, the, the local poison store. And it is laid out as poison. Great one, Greg. The, Snaps the, to Greg. The, what a great the local fucking well, general the store, the store that's open when everything else is closed, the store that you, you go yeah, to... The, the, the convenience up, store. Right? Yes. And what do you get? You walk in, you get a wall of fucking uh, corn sugar and... Poisons. And poisons. And aspartames. Aspartame. All the gum now they took out sugar out of gum and they put every gum has aspartame. I know it's fucking They've got scary. this stuff called Stride. Have you seen this? Oh yeah. yeah, I know where to go to tax you. Well, the flavor never goes away. I don't know if it's Stride, but it's one they of these. Go in there, no, they had gold in there. No, but they they they, they mm-hmm. have these that are marketed towards teens, especially young teens, right? And they have these contests. Get yourself, I think it's get yourself in a Stride commercial. And yeah. one of the winners I saw was. These kid, this kid had made a fucking mask out of, of bubble gum, right? Like used bubble gum, and people were biting it off, and like his friends were biting the gum off his face, and they got on the whole thing, right? And fucking dark, man. You got this gum that's super sweet, that has no sugar, and <laughs> never loses its flavor. Right? It's got all these fucking nasty chemicals in it, and that it is marketed towards teens. At right? the zombie apocalypse. And they, they want them fucking it chewing it. They want you feet. chewing it by the fucking truckload, right? They want you fucking doing it. Whoa, you know, and this is this is what we're seeing. I mean, uh, you go into Walmart. I can't even stand going to Walmart. You just see a lot of miserable fat people buying things and buying things that are fucking going to fucking fall apart within a, a year or two, you know, whether it's furniture it's or something yeah. like that. Or it's the awful food. You know, and it's cheap, and it, you can buy a big volume. You, you don't just buy 24 Cokes. You buy uh, four cases of two fours, right? Stock up, because you know what? They're only cheap for this week or something, right? This week, but if you go to the store next to it, it'll be cheap next week. No. So there's no reason for and, you to buy any And everything any that, that would be good for us off is out of reach. Everything that, because you, you can't afford, the average person can't afford to fucking you're buy. You're too fat now, your penis is out of reach. They sold, American culture is Coca-Cola. Right? Coca-Cola advertised. That is American culture. They've made people take pride in the fact that they've had this corporation go out and make people sick everywhere. Yeah. Right? Right. And people take pride in that. They're like, fucking right. We're number um, one. Um, well, McDonald's can it get any darker than no. McDonald's? McDonald's, uh, Domino's, all these chains of horror, all these chains of sickness that they just and they and make as it I global. said before, they it's got like they 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 remove 
they extract all the fucking fiber, all the things that we need, the nutrients yeah, and, and everything, sugar and, salt. and they replace it with fucking horrible fucking sugar, salt, chemicals, fucking yeah. aspartame, yeah. flavors, uh, corn sugar, all this shit that is just awful for us, that kills us, and these people keep going back like fucking brain dead well, they zombies. know we're addicted to it as well. It's addicted you to ever it. notice the lineup at McDonald's? I haven't been to McDonald's in three years, but you ever notice the fucking lineup of people in a well, McDonald's? Well, McDonald's? They're all McDonald's, fucking overweight. Yeah, it's it? true, right? McDonald's is tricked people who, and, and at it the gets time them of, as kids. It yeah. brainwashes them from the yes. infinite, it it thinking it's fast mind. food, right? But it's, it's no longer, well, it's fast now because it's so, like, fucked up, but I went into a place, but people only have an hour for lunch, so they go there, right? And they, they could do a routine because they're too lazy to make their sandwich. And there's not a lot of other or choices. Or make it the night before. If and you make it the night, yeah, but independent of the marketing of the yeah, reality if, if of they're everywhere, right? So people just go quickly because they haven't prepared themselves. So and because they haven't prepared themselves, they have to eat this crap. Right? They don't now, have, if yeah. you just crawled out of the road and it's like, uh, uh, and there's a McDonald's, then you go in and have a Big Mac and sit down and then eat three more because you haven't eaten in fucking four days, right? But independent of the fact I mean, that this is your food. lunch and you're going to work, yeah. why didn't you make your sandwich or your healthy snack or whatever you're going to eat for the day? They know the how before. it all works. They have everybody working. Because it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's almost cheaper to, to go to McDonald's than it is to fucking get a healthy Actually, it's one day of tired. You stay home and you do all your shit for the next day and you'll notice that the next yeah, day yeah, immediately yeah. You, will go like that. You know that. what? One day snap. One of the answers is is never to go to these places and yes. tell everybody you know. I, I hate uh, boycott. I had to go to hell. The, and I had like, to eat McDonald's. They're not the other okay. Day. There's nothing okay about McDonald's. There's nothing okay I had to eat about McDonald's. There's nothing. The other day. I went to hell. Don't let I had your kids McDonald's. work there. Don't support it. Period. Don't don't so even eat. you know like don't fall for the way that they they manipulate culture to make it look like wow they care about people like the Ronald McDonald fucking home or whatever right yeah and grimace you know, oh wow they got this little they home burger, meanwhile they're making burger, all your kids yeah. fat and fucking yeah, on all these burger. different chemicals right uh, by the and getting diabetes and fucking all this shit that never happened before to them. And, and then they have their little fucking violin playing for their fucking manipulative media commercials showing their Ronald McDonald home and Ronald McDonald fucking walking with what disabled the fuck children. What drugs if they got children on to look at this and go, woo, woo, Well, they get, get the, they they get the kids. <laughs> they learn how to brainwash them. They did things like Teletubbies, which kids can't even take their eyes off of, right? I don't, like these, yeah, that, that, that's a strange little... That's monarch that, programming. Isn't? That's fucking... Well, I don't know if it's monarch programming or somebody whose thing just happened to fucking... It's they, visual programming. Some, They're, they, are, they are fucking brainwashing. They know for a fact babies kids. shouldn't be watching any screen before two. Yeah. They shouldn't watch the screen, period. No, but so after, that, they're able no, but here's to, the after thing. that, they're but, able okay, to Okay, let's stop right there. Forget all the, the theories and everything and all the, the theories. Crazy. brain development. Right? That's yeah, yeah. Brain, right. brain development. Why do all the children stop and watch this thing? Because they have, it's they colors, learned, they learned from the Nazis, they learned from the CIA exactly how to control people's mind. They learned that every little thing that they can put in, whether it's triggers in music, triggers in fucking colors, triggers in fucking emotions, um, all these things, they know how to. To <laughs> control a human being, so that when you sit in front of the television, all of a sudden your brain goes into a meditative, not even a meditative like, but like almost a shutdown state, and you're just absorbing the fucking... And you know how uh, children learn how to sit in front of the TV? Their parents turn it on and say, sit there and watch that. Well, the and parents love it because learn, okay? they're overworked. The baby didn't turn on the TV. The, 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 didn't put in the mother is not allowed to be the mother anymore. Oh, I know. So the, the, the parents learn that if I put the kid in front of this, the kid will shut up and I'll be able to fucking do whatever I want to do. I sat right? down with my kids the other day, and they're one is seven and one is nine, and we sat down and we watched Nova, and it was the periodic table of the elements. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't five minutes into it, they were saying, wow, this is so interesting. Do you have any more TV programs like this? That's what so TV it should be. That's what it should be. Right. Here you go. right? Whatever it is, you're learning the science and you're getting the, the entertainment value of it. And, of course, with your kids, it's all wonderful on top of that. Um, but the children are actually learning and understanding. Wow, it's but interesting. Let's, let's be honest, though, Paul. Any kid is going to have a much better time and a, and a much better learning experience if they have a parent or a teacher fucking teaching them. And, and they're into it, and it's like, here's the periodic, this is how we're it all works. We're going to sit together and watch you know? it. 
Like, you don't need a goddamn fucking stupid-ass motherfucking shit-for-brain box that's going to fucking manipulate your kids at every given moment. If it's not manipulating your kids during Nova, which it probably isn't, it's educational, it's fairly good, right? It's when the commercial breaks come on, right? And the commercial there are no commercial breaks. Commercials well, on, then, uh, yeah. that, then you have PBS, public what television can be, be yeah. and should, should be, be, which is I'll pay for it and it'll be good and it, it will care about us and, and fucking report on things that are affecting us yeah. like Monsanto. Well, good stuff and education just like the periodic yes. table of the elements or quantum but physics that's not, or how the Kodiak beer hangs That's not television. Thing, right? That's television uh, on one channel for a couple hours a day or something. Yeah, right? Exactly. I mean it's it, one out of five uh, and the fun thing is, for us, you have and there's nothing the on. Well, there's there's, there's a thousand channels now. Or there's there's more, channels right? and nothing on. Yeah. That's it. That's how the song the goes. Box. But yes, there are a few um, interesting programs. Like they have, uh, I always talk about it, uh, the American Experience, which is like an American history show on mm-hmm. PBS. I find it, um, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, the, the, the documentaries, the stuff like the um, Ken Burns you know the Civil War stuff. Yes, the thing oh, they're, they're, they're those so are awesome. Well done. Um, that is, of course, that's the type of television I gravitate towards. Of course, I like the Game of Thrones and The Wire and stuff like that. Like the engaging. Like, yeah, The Wire is amazing, right? Yeah, I mean, like what stuff like that. <laughs> that stuff, but it's it's one out of a hundred, right? <laughs> Literally, it's one out of a hundred, or maybe a thousand. That is The Wire. I mean, The Wire to me is the best ever, right? But like, there's great programs when. There's a specific amount of money that's put into it where there's a, a real fucking idea, there's inspiration, there's creative people, and and they want to do something. They want to change. They want to fucking offer something that people can get something out of. That stuff is riveting. It's awesome. But it's few and far between. It's not what most people watch. I mean, The Wire was barely watched at all, you know, when it was on. And most of the people that have got onto The Wire got into it years after. Hey, the and Vice guy, the Vice guy, are going on HBO. Yes, and yeah. they've got some interesting That's programs coming funny. up. Like, what oh, the hell? Yeah. That kind of twist. They got, they're getting huge now. Uh, Fukushima two years later. I can't wait to see that one. Yep, and they've got. They're going, going into so dark, India and yeah. Pakistan. They're going. They're they're fucking. I think back to North Korea, perhaps. I don't know. They got some really cool shit. Um, yeah, that is the type of television that people now. You know, if you're aware and you're you're you want to know what's going on, that type of television all of a sudden. You know, like, it, it comes from YouTube, really, because you think about YouTube and the power of being able to put these documentaries or just do independent reporting, do podcasting like we're doing, or make your own creative videos and just put them up there, right? And it's just there. It's free, and there's tons of it. And all of a sudden, you know, television, the smart television is learning from that and saying, hey, you know what, we got to do more of what that kind of stuff is, more what pe- people want to know the truth. They want to know what's going on. They want to... Like, and Vice, for instance, I mean, they've done some pretty cheesy things lately, but, uh, with their YouTube stuff, but when they go into, like, North Korea, or they go into, uh, what was it, uh, the Gold Liberia. Co- Liberia, places like that, it is awesome, it's like nobody else does this shit, nobody else is showing what's really going on, they'll have a newscast, and they'll, they'll show some explosions or something, but you won't see, yeah. you won't talk to the people, yeah. you won't fucking understand they, what's they going on. They won't walk into a whorehouse in Liberia <laughs> where there's shit all over the place and rivers of piss going exactly. down. Exactly. It takes a lot it won't of won't be like the hangover too, right? 14 year old. I'm coming your ass, you're coming to the floor, Vice, you the floor. Vice uh, came from Montreal. Shit, it's, uh, and you know, Montreal guys, yeah. yeah. Montreal guys, and it was Voice at first and came out in the 90s and then it grew into whatever. So that is the good stuff, and of course, they get rewarded because they go and they do shit, and they're like, fuck that guy Shane Smith, he's on Joe Rogan. I listen to, whenever Joe Rogan has it on, I listen to the podcast, and it's always really cool mm-hmm. because he's seen a lot of crazy shit, and he knows what's going on. You know, in the world, and what there, there's real dangers out there. There's really bad people. There's bad things going on. And like we talk about with what we're we yeah, started this Disneyland, right? What we started this particular segment with was the whole fucking New World Order thing. Yeah, um, um, which days. you can't get darker. I mean, how can it get darker than that? No. And you know, it's not sci-fi. It's not imagination. It's real. Yeah. They are doing this. Yeah. If you don't believe it, go on the website, check out Agenda 21. Yeah, look it up yourself. Yeah, look it's it all got there. All there. It's 200 pages or something. It's yeah. got all kinds of maps and it's showing you what they what they want to do. Fuck yeah. yeah. This is you the know. plan for sustainable development and the yeah. humanity. They're so confident that um, the average person won't clue in 
and they won't give a fuck, and they'll bend over and take it when the and when the UN comes in, just like's happened in the United States. The whole fucking move to take away the guns, the gun grab coming in. Thank Obama. God it backfired. America, we said this months ago. There are only hope for humanity. I know, and it's those that want to keep their guns. It's because you know they what? They have their guns. Thank God, because if America, they didn't have their guns, the whole world would already be under a boot. The United States, and that would be the reality. When We'd it all was be under when a boot. it was the beacon of light of the world, it was the place where any person could rise up if they worked hard. If they there, there was a you well, could you do it. You could get there. Fun. Yeah, that dream is is, is dead a long dead. time, right? It's but dead. I had a conversation with one person, and it was under the gun control debate, right? And they said. Uh, she said, yeah, there's something about the gun control or some kind of thing, right? It was a shooting that day somewhere. And I said, yeah, no, yeah, people should have guns, right? And she said, oh, you're a Republican. I said, no, I'm not a Republican. She said, well, what do you mean? You want to keep your guns? Yeah, you need to keep your guns. Keep your government out of your face. And uh, she was like, what? Well, yeah. And then you start explaining it to the, the person. And all of a sudden, what do you mean to keep the government out of your face? Exactly. So, yeah. Why do you love the government so much, right? Yeah. What's they the overtax us. Meanwhile, we know in this city, the Charbonneau Commission, they overtax us just to steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't do the goddamn work anyway, or if they do it, it's half assed so it's got to be redone. Yep. It's. Uh, well, we're being blackmailed. Well, as soon as they write well, a law that says you're outlawed, they come and black, take you, right? We're being blackmailed by our fucking mayor of Montreal, which has three million people or whatever, being told, listen, I can either keep your potholes empty, or, or we can rehire the same corrupt guys that should be in jail. Yeah. That's your choice. It's not that we can ask somebody else in a neighboring city, province, a state, community, Army. Do you guys want a fucking yeah, job? I mean, as Army. Army. Oh, okay, sure. we're taking the truck. We you're live in a fucking, I'm no, sure there's a lot the of... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, listen to me. Why this can't is why, why a state could work good, right? Forget what the motives of the army, but just taking the fucking 2,000 guys, putting them into fucking trucks, and making them do the work. Yeah, no. They're getting uh, paid anyway. We've already paid to have it done. No, Get no, no. Independent of getting I'm the, not the hiring justice the aspect army when that. we can hire a fucking new company... To no, do the same it's like thing. firing the air traffic controllers. Fuck you. We'll get someone else to do. It. Get the army in here now. Well, the we, we, we uh, we've got the same kind of problems Pot here. Holes. You can't have no. You we can't just have, have them no. amplified here. I mean, Montreal is just one of these places where we just don't have potholes. We have fucking you know manholes. We have fucking huge yeah, yeah, car yeah, swallowing. The fucking army has engineers, my friend, and they could probably do a better job for less money. Yeah. Well. Almost anybody could do a better job than the mob, right? Yeah. But the, uh, they're not concerned with doing a good job. In fact, they want to do a bad job. They want to do a job that'll last tell a year. Army, tell the Army Corps of uh, the, uh, uh, fuck hey. Canada, okay, we have to re-fucking do all the water sewer in Montreal and make it last forever. They'd be in here with a bunch of guys, but 24 hours later, you'd have a fucking rudimentary plan. Then in yeah, 72 whatever, hours, yeah. you'd have a plan. Next thing you know, you'd have everything tore up, laid down, and it'll last 150 years, you could drive tanks on it. You are living in a fantasy. No, I am world. not living in a fantasy world. <laughs> I'm living happen. in a practical world that says this is the way to get rid of corruption and solve things quickly, right? Yeah, now I don't have an army of accountants to help me do all the mathematical work of the, the technocratic the, bureaucracy. The, the problems that we have. But I don't think I want to live in your world where the <laughs> army takes over everything, Paul. No offense. <laughs> but I don't want people with machine guns paving the street, right? No, it's, the question get was get off the street now, <laughs> sir. <laughs> they're not bringing machine guns that day. They're coming in their fatigues and they're just doing the work. They're a bunch of guys. You need guys with shovels to fucking put ass on. Army don't make roads, all right? Yeah. They don't. We pay people with shovels, too. We, we well, no, apparently we pay corrupt people who haven't yeah, been fucking fixing holes. but there's other people that are, I'm sure that fill holes that aren't corrupt. Where, where are they now, right now? Well, we're not going out of the city because we're being blackmailed no, by our mayor. No, what I'm saying we're is being bring in fucking 2,000 guys, fucking throw who's these guys out, confiscate the stuff, do the fucking dude, shit. That's say who's going to bring him in, the mayor that's dude, blackmailing dude, us? You need to do you want your roads fixed or not? I've got a solution for Paul. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I've got a solution for him. Yeah. He can build a time machine, and he can go back to the 1950s and Stalinist Russia, I did and that. he can work in the Gulag. That's yeah. Because that's, that's wonderful, Paul. We'll just yeah. get these people to no. come in and do it all. Yeah. You know, uh, We live in a capitalistic society, or we like to think. Get a goddamn new company. But we don't like there. that capitalistic society. Well, because... I'm just talking about yes, getting roads fixed in today. We, I do. I'm Let's talking get about getting roads and infrastructure fixed Yeah, in call today. Ottawa, which is an hour away. Do you guys have a construction team that fills holes? Sure do. We got two. 
My, yeah. my, uh, we got $5 million for the contracts. Can you drive over here and fill our holes? Sure can. We're on our way. How hard was that? A friend of mine, uh, this guy Jacques, who lives downtown Montreal. Do you want to clean up? You think the guys in Ottawa are any different than the guys in Montreal? Yes, the, they're not I, as corrupt. But I have whatever. to they're not as corrupt as here. You yes. can't be as corrupt as Montreal. I don't believe it. But, like, we're dealing with just what all cities in North America are dealing with. All this infrastructure, it was all built, it started with the Eisenhower, right, in the 50s. and it, it I'm thinking of getting all the roads done right away, getting people in line. No, can I, can I done, just finish? Because you, whatever you're thinking is... <laughs> that shit crazy and will never yeah, work. I'm with Jeff um, on that one, dude. <laughs> but it's a nice thought. I mean, yes, we, we would like some magical mystical army to come we out. Can bring in Kim Jong Il's fucking. They put down all their guns. At doing the road. Double time it. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. But we'll rent those guys at a dollar a day. Did. They'll they be so did. happy because they're from North Korea. They get out of North Korea for a day. They'll fill our potholes and go back. One of our first podcasts. <laughs> Actually, that's a better idea than bringing in our I army. find a fall. All right, I love it. <laughs> they, they I knew would, it. They had the wrong stay. army to bring in. That was my problem. Yeah, because yeah. they, the they would stay here and do all the roads. That's right. And uh, we could... Feed them uh, scraps. No, we no, no we'll feed them at McDonald's. We'll feed them GMOs. So GMOs. that um, so they get no nutritional value. Hey, that'll be better than eating mud and bark, right? So I'll take one, Paul. You know, um, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, no. The reality of it is, we're being blackmailed right now by our mayor, and that's what it is. It's blackmails, right? Oh, right. uh, we only have two choices: a, leave them empty, or b, hire those corrupt guys. How can that be our only two choices in a free society? Well, that How can that no. be? No, it's, it's not our only two choices. Yeah, well, that's why. Those are the two choices the corporate media presented. No, the population with is an answer immediately. Media. Now we need to no, know. the guy who's in charge called the mayor who makes those decisions. Not the corporate media. He came out and said it. They just reported on it. Okay? He said it. The mayor said, we have no choice. We have no choice. We have no choice. We will hire the same, a double time same and corrupt friends that he sat on the executive committee and knew nothing about for 10 years. Yeah. Um, but he wants to employ the same people that he said we have to get rid of. Unfortunately, here's where the quandary no, we comes knew into it. Be a no, no, here's where the quandary comes into it. You see, you'd like to forgive the workers because they're not doing what they're not supposed to do because it's their fault. Well, they're just the, the workers. workers right? No, no, the workers had, and the whole thing hasn't come out and said, "I need forgiveness." And where's my forgiveness? And then you can say, "Yes, you guys go to work now, fix it properly." And all the guys who were doing fuck the that, thing, you fuck that, fuck take that, them. you fucking criminals, go to jail, you motherfuckers. All the blue collar you know, guys are fuck criminals. Fuck them all. Well, the Okay, look. The blue we, need call, a, we need the roads fixed. The blue collar guys. The, roads it's not the blue collar guys are not the it's fucking not problem. It's not their fault, yeah. right? They're, yeah. they're, they're right? just part of the whole fucking condition. It's not right? their fault. No, it's the mayor. It's, it's Mr. Three Percent. Mr. Trampigny. So you know? it's all these guys who. So we have to somehow get the roads fixed properly now and efficiently, Paul. And not pretend. Okay, right? we did a podcast way back I when know, we, we did started. All kinds of when we started, and one of the I remember it was on Detroit, and we're talking about how it's unsustainable. The whole fucking goddamn suburban ideas, fucking batshit. Roads are not unsustainable. They've been around since yeah, before anybody. Yeah, but fucking millions roads. of roads are. We have millions of roads in the world. Fucking. We need roads in the city, Jeff. Yeah, but. The, Ugh. We. This is the whole problem. We built all this shit back in the fifties and sixties, and it hasn't been upgraded. No, it's it. It just keeps going further. There's no. You can't keep it up. It's a giant fucking fucking time bomb. You can't keep it up. It's unsustainable. It's too expensive. If they would have looked in in the future, if they would have seen, oh, okay, it ta- costs this much to have this many people living this far from the city, this many bridges that have to be fucking built, maintained, roads have to be redone, and then the city keeps growing and growing and it's going further and further, it's not sustainable. All throughout the city, North America. geographically, is not going to change that much. The route and the material in the route that people transverse on a daily thing and in mass has to be upgraded and made proper. Some yes, it's are not stupid. Done. We've taken right? we've taken perfect arable land and turned it into fucking housing and turned it into big houses it's, where it's people don't grow not a goddamn bit of food yeah, on. Yeah. it's for fucking. Yeah. Um, I'm just talking about the roads two, now. I'm two, not talking about two, yeah, uh, talking two about car. He's talking about the two suburbs. car garage, two car driveway. 
fucking roads everywhere, sidewalks everywhere. Uh, I grew up in a place where they wouldn't even allow fucking city buses to come in, so we had to walk fucking 45 minutes to get the closest bus. Yeah, no, these assholes didn't want to have a fucking big bus going down the street every yeah. fucking I half just come hour. come to your house. Right? I know. I know, but this is it's so dumb. It's so stupid. It's, it's so costly. Yeah. We have all over North They're America. They're not even gridded up properly. And then when you're the walking suburbs. home... They run you over with their SUVs doing a fucking 70 in the We get bloated. Zone. And then they complain we that get, people are okay. driving too fast. We get bloated municipal governments, right, that are fucking stealing taxpayers' money, that are fucking showering themselves with fucking vacations and gifts and fucking expensive $3, bottles. $3,000 lunches, yes. Yeah. Golden pork chops. I mean, we get all this shit because we decided, you know what, the car is the best we're going the car. Everyone's going to have a car. Love cars. Yay, cars. And uh, we'll fucking, everybody will live out of the city, you know, and, and we'll put strip malls and fucking traffic lights everywhere and fucking ramps and fucking underpasses. And it, it, if they have it's them. unsustainable. It's too, there's too much. Montreal's fucking huge. Look at the Turcotte Interchange. It's going to cost $10 billion to to. to Move this fucking elevated fucking highway, which makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I right? never figured it out either. Right? Yeah. And they're going to put it on the ground now because now we figured it out. It's fucking dumb to keep it way up in the air like the Jetsons or something stupid like that. <laughs> That's what it was, too. It looked good up. No, the whole whoever fucking bro- thing is falling apart. You go underneath it, you see cracks. You see No, fucking- actually, the problem with it was they designed it from the top down. And so what looked nice from the top was what they Yeah, designed. it looked great, Paul. Oh, Look on, at a it. Pa- on a piece of paper. Oh, no, on a 3D fucking... Ma- uh, uh, no, um, whoever's in charge of the concrete... A model. A model. It looked fantastic. Imagine they go into the... Two roads up top, two roads in the train. No, whoever was the Mr. Concrete nice. back in the Yeah, the 50s, they loved it. Mr. Concrete got that contract yeah, back. Because no everything is concrete, and it's all designed to last 40 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they know that. And everything in our So we've got a, a ten billion dollar fucking uh, elevated highway that has to be replaced. It's going to cost ten billion. It's going to cost what fifteen billion? Come on, right? Yeah. Oh, a lot of that money's going to be gone to the mob, to the fucking subcontractors, and all that shit. But then we have that. Then we have the Champlain Bridge is about to fall in the fucking. That's another eight river. billion or something, right? Yes, I know. We got to fucking replace that shit. Right? And that doesn't count all the fucking overpasses that are falling, including the ones downtown. Right yeah, where right. I live out in St. Anne's, they got one closed, and it's been closed for two years. They're like, it's not enough traffic, it's not a priority. We'll reopen it one day. Right. We've got a gazillion fucking problems. Uh, as I was going to say before, uh, my friend Jacques, you know Jacques yeah. Pernod, he said, he said, Montreal would be fine if they just took Montreal and they moved it 200 miles north or something, right? And fucking rebuilt it. Dropped it the, in uh, Mont Trump. The thing, this is, we are a fucking aging, we're like New York, we're like Boston, we're these old cities with all kinds of underground shit, fucking old subway systems, shit like that. All kinds of decaying infrastructure and it's not sustainable unless you always have that growth, which we know now because oil and all that is scarce, that it's impossible. The growth will not continue. Therefore, we have to fucking adapt. So the refinement must begin. Yeah, no, we, we need to be much more... We need to be... We have to be top efficient. Of our, yes, we have to be of our game from now till the end of time. You know? You know, we have to be For all making houses that produce their own energy, that yes. collect uh, solar, Come wind, on, man. What rain, the What happened to windmills, windmills, right? Well, and uh, electricity. Because all of a sudden you didn't need the wind to fucking grind. Yeah, I understand, no, but that's a the lie they told us. You can use the wind to create electricity. Yeah, sure, yeah. absolutely. But, that's, but a that's, lot. that's that's a future. That's like wave machine shit like that. Um, we already have a lot of fucking um, uh, wind power generates turbines everywhere. Fuck, we wind. had a lot of hot air. <laughs> so in Scotland, um, what's his name? Donald Trump bought what's known as the world's nicest golf course. Yeah. And he agreed to spend a billion dollars there building a great resort for all the rich people to go and play golf. Wonderful. So the Scottish government said, well, we're putting a wind farm out there in the ocean, whatever, right? Right. And uh, he went to court there to say, you shouldn't be allowed to build your wind farm because it's gonna re- people at the resort aren't going to want to look out and see wind farm. And the Scottish mm-hmm. government told them, well, we don't care what you but think. But, you know... Right? The, so, the solution to me is not that we build all these wind farms everywhere. It's that we, we find 
ways to use much less energy. We find ways to harvest energy. Yeah, but in the meantime, we still have to build wind farms because they are a technological well, yeah, the, reality that are, does are a, not pollute. There are better alternatives, yes. without a doubt, when it comes to nuclear. Right? Nuclear is the worst oh, it, when, when it comes to oil, when it comes to a lot of things. Because the wind is always yes. blowing, right? And you don't have to have it all. You can see where the migratory patterns of animals are, right? And well, you, that's going to be a casualty. Some, and you, something's got to give somewhere, right? right? But if you lose all the bears on one little island, okay, whatever. But if you can all of a sudden have a city that's not... Let's, um, not, let's not drift polluted. into the idea that wind farms could ever possibly replace the, the, the actual... Uh, level of fucking energy that we consume. Not on the road. I can tell you this. No tidal I farms. No. And solar no. farms. No. No. And yes. other kinds of farms. There's all kinds I of ways. I this. understand. But the term is but farm. Still, still, for governments like fucking Stephen Harper, they look and they say, how much does that cost? How much does it yeah, generate? He, then they look at, they look at, well, He's they look at which threat. companies they have. Then own. they look at nuclear energy and they go, how much does that cost? How much will that generate? Mm. You know, and they like that because it's cheaper. It produces more energy, and it'll nuclear just energy fuck is up always the planet off the table. forever. If anything yeah, goes wrong, be, the, if I was the prime minister, I would immediately shut down all the uh, nuclear. Yeah, reactors. but then you 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 and would have no economy. You would have matter. people. Well, they would show up with pitchforks and fucking knives and fucking kill you. You know, because they could wouldn't transfer the economy. I can tell you for a fact, the United States of America in Arizona, if they put. Um, solar panels, so let's just say, because it's the sunniest place, I think, on Earth, or in the Western Hemisphere, for sure. Where? Arizona. Yes. They can generate 90% of America's electricity just in Arizona from solar yeah, panels. Yeah, but in know, the daytime. What I'm going to say about, what I want to say about now, that. the thing is in the daytime. I understand the capture, right? but there's ways, there's generating, I, there's I, ways I saw to stuff on this year, but here's the point I want to make on that immediately. In the daytime. So that means you don't have to use a certain percentage of other fuels during the daytime when people should be going to work. Not this 24-7 shit, right? Certain period of time in the daytime where you don't have to use fossil fuels or other kinds I of know. nuclear things, right? That's well, massive. That's massive. Yeah, but we can't, like, this is what I was trying to say. Is Simple that solutions. That's the yielding big result. 30 amount of, of Dallas is on solar. The amount of energy that we use now is ridiculous, right? And if we could cut that in half, if we could all, like, look in places like Japan, they have no choice but to do it. They only get so much power a day because of the, the Fukushima and everything that's happened that they have to really conserve it. They, um, it's the wind. They brought, um, was going to say, uh, like they, they brought in legislation in which they banned the use of air conditioning over a certain temperature, right? I think they can't cool their buildings any more than like, I think it's 24, 25, whatever. Yeah, like it's 24 Celsius. or something, yeah. right? Like so, and then ev they brought in a new type of work uniform where men wear short sleeve shirts with ties and maybe even shorts, right? Or, or knickers or whatever. They brought in right? a uniform, okay. Right? Well, they had no choice because of everything that happened, right, and the situation that they were in. So, like, unfortunately, that's the way we are. We want to continue this this huge need for incredible amounts of power when it, it all it does is it taxes all the resources of the world far more than we really should. Yeah, the unlimited power for instant gratification because I need to turn on my thing right now. As opposed to, well, you should do it during this period of time because this one it's available. Or you could have a technological revolution in which um, we learn, we make appliances, we make products that use little energy but are able to carry. We out must do at least both of these plus more. Well, that, immediately. You know, those things are happening. Those things. Oh those no, those right. things they're are making new um, energy efficient appliances. Oh, they're Guess making what? stickers that say. No, 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 no. Yes. Guess what? <laughs> they're doing things that count. And if you go over your count, they're going to run on you. Okay? Big Brother's coming to your appliances. I know. They're going to put the Budweiser uh, siren underneath your thing to rat out. You've got one kilojoule over the amount of electricity yeah. you're allowed to use you're, for this They're day. coming, beep, and beep, they're going to be beep. monitoring <laughs> how much... You like electricity? You have a cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have us come back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the truck to show up and my door to be kicked in and, and for the fucking technicians, the cattle fraud, the technicians yeah. to come in like they did in that commercial. And the like, who the hell? Are, oh, they've got a fucking light. Okay, it's okay, right? Alien 
<laughs> no, we're in a, we're in a predicament now. People need to um, turn on, tune in, and drop out uh, of this. Well, we've game, created. Right? We need to. What did, uh, what did Thompson say? When the times get weird, the weird GoPro. Yeah, and um, we need to get some kind of sustainable development for food and everything for ourselves, for our families. We have to do it at home. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to find ways to generate renewable resources that we're not making ourselves sick by polluting everything, thinking we're first. Time we for us to we have a right ideas. to do everything. Yes, you do. But once you, you learn about what you're doing. But you also have a responsibility right. that right yeah. to do the, the proper thing. Yeah, and, you don't, and, and if you, you don't do the proper thing, then you're doing the wrong thing. And if you're doing the wrong thing, well, then you ain't right. Yeah. So, I mean, we have to get right. Um, we have to choose what's best for all of us for and not be scared to say to our friends really stop eating the poison stop, stop eating the poison it's hard i know it's hard took it me two and a half years to stop drinking soft drinks two and a half years so it's at least a two and a half years you still got a year and a half a year and a go on half in the tribulations so you just saved yourself that much time get rid of the glucose fructose enjoy have a great day <laughs> have a coconut smile I'm done.